Hi, Scorpio Nation. This is your full month of August 2021 general collective tarot reading session for you, Scorpio. I hope you're well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. This reading is for you. This is full month general collective. I will still upload another video which is a full month exclusive of love reading. So if you are interested to connect with me, you know, click the bell and click subscribe. And all other details about me, my channel, myself, and my team, and the services that I offer outside of the YouTube platform, it is found in the website. So go to sunshine-tv.com. I've got a total of um, three channels. One is this. One is the main channel, Sunshine Dash Sunshine TV. And then I've got a uh, Tagalog channel, which is based in the Philippines. I will be uploading a lot of video. I will be active there. So if there's some Filipino subscribers in here, subscribers in here, you know, uh, check out the the other channel because I will be. I'm uploading. I'm uploading a video now. Anyhow, all right. So this is the this is for the full month, full month of August. Collective reading for Scorpio. What can I get for Scorpio, please? Let's look at your overall energy. Okay, full month of August. What can I get for Scorpio? Full month of August. All right. So overall energy is you've got the Strength card and the Nine of Swords, the Page of Pentacles. Your stress. I mean, end of July. You're coming towards the Nine of Swords, a strength card. Something made you feel weak, okay? It could be you're, you're not feeling well. Um, you're overthinking about a message that came through. It made you weak. There's something in here, strength card in reverse. It could be you're feeling sick, you're very tired, or there's some sort of challenge in July that is somehow um, carried over in the month of August and it could be you're not receiving the information that you want to hear from a person and it's making you overthink and overthink and overthink it could be you're in bed you're sick and you know you no longer have a sick leave and or for some of you there's a feeling of nine of swords you're overthinking about a person about the situation and they're not helping you, you know. For some of you guys, um, I really feel like General Collective in August, there is a piece of information that you want to hear, you want to receive. And for as long as you do not receive, you do not hear from this person or situation, it, it's, it's making you overthink and it's making you lose hope, okay? Strength, strength card in reverse. The more you don't hear back from this person, the more you don't get the information, the more you don't hear the news update, the more you overthink, okay? In short, it could be as simple as you're very worried about a specific information that you need to know. Page of Pentacles. You know, I feel like you're solving a puzzle in here. There is a specific information that you would like to know. You would like to get an update. Or you would like to hear from someone, from somebody. And the more this person is aloof or distance with you, the more you create Nine of Swords energy. Overthinking, worrying, unable to sleep, unable to eat. It makes you weak. The more you don't hear from this person, from the update, the more you feel weaker. The more it could be you're losing hope, you know, for some of you. Um, for some of you... You just really want to hear some good news from this person, from a situation, you know? Um, let's look at the challenge. It could be it could be related to your kid, you know, maybe a younger a younger sibling or maybe your child. You haven't heard from your child, but the the sun card could be a Leo or it could be August, judgment card. Yeah, I feel like this is the challenge. This is the delay. I feel like it's a good news, but it's a delay. And yeah, I feel like Scorpio, there's some sort of good news in August. And the more you don't hear, the more it makes you frustrated. And when I look at the challenge, the delay, it seems to be it will arrive. 
you know, and it, it's going to make you happy. It's just delay. It's delay, but it's going to arrive. There is some sort of delay towards a person, towards somebody, towards a news that you've been wanting to know. But as soon as this comes around, you'll be very happy. Five of Swords. Yeah, I feel like if this is a love reading, you've been thinking about this person. They haven't called you back or they were aloof. And then out of nowhere, because the Sun card is a Leo card. August month, Leo season, you know. So for some of you, you're worrying for something that it will naturally come back or naturally you will eventually hear from them, you know. Five of Swords, it's... In the first two weeks of August, you're being advised not to worry too much because the outcome is favorable to you and favorable to them. The outcome is favorable to you and favorable to them. If you're hearing, if, if there's a feeling in here that I want to hear some good news, you will hear a good news. And the more you wait, the more you feel the stress, the anxiety, where in fact, it's almost sorted for some of you. Sun card, the judgment, the five of swords. So you're just making it difficult for yourself, Scorpio. If you want to hear from someone, from somebody, a good news. There is good news in August. You know, sun card, the judgment card, the five of swords. You just really have to allow the people, the information to be processed and it shall be yours. Okay? And I think the challenge in here, it's not the... <laughs> The challenge, because this is what you want, you know, happiness, good news, an outcome, an announcement, five of swords in reverse, it means that it's just delay, but it's going to come. And you know the challenge, who is the challenge in here? It's you, because you're overthinking, overanalyzing. You're stressing yourself out into something that there would be an outcome. Yeah. The eight of cups. The ten of, ten of Wands in reverse. The Two of Cups. It could be an agreement. Because this is the past. Okay? It could be that you're, wait, you're waiting for a person to agree with you. You know? Because someone returned. In the past, someone returned. Ten of Wands. When this person returned, they told you something. They, there was some sort of information in the past that it gives you hope. There is an information, a person, a situation that they have returned, Eight of Cups, Ten of Wands, and it gives you hope and you wanted more, okay? There was a situation in the past, or it could be a person, it could be a news, it could be a project, it could be anything, but something returned, something you come to know, and you want more of this, and you're waiting in the month of August, and... You know, I'm looking at the outcome and the challenge and it doesn't look like a challenge. It's actually an outcome. The outcome is good news. Very good outcome. An announcement. Five of Swords. It could be, Five of Swords in reverse. This is like improvement or there's no trick in it. Like there's no, I'm getting like, it's no hidden agenda. It's just delay. You know, happiness, outcome, good news, no hidden agenda. It's just delay, Scorpio. And if there's someone here who's stressed, it's you. You're overthinking for something that it's just needing process. Um, Yeah, I feel like it could be an agreement. It could be a partnership. It is something that it was not working. It came along and it's telling you, hey, Scorpio, you know, two of cups in reverse. Could be a lover, you know. It could be a lover. It it could be a lover, they connected with you, they call you, they text you. They said something to you and some sort of a promise for some of you. Or they came back, they connected, they reconnected. And they made you feel, they gave you a solid impression that August month seems to be a good month for us. Something like that. But it's a partnership, it's an agreement, it's, a for, it's, it's an offer. You know, this is a yes. We are in agreement. Could be a contract, you know, but... When this person talks to you or offer or agreement or project, it was not working well. But in August, you're anticipating that things will work out. And it will. It's just that you're stressed out or you're overexcited. You're, whoever this is, it's someone who returned 
it's someone who return it could be a partnership it could be an agreement it could be a it could be an offer that it didn't work out and then it came back to you eight of cups and it, it has given you some sort of hope that we could we could work things out in august month and you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for an update a confirmation the actual contract the actual thingy some sort of officiation and it will probably at the end of august for some of you and i feel like it's either you're too excited or overthinking about it whether you lost it or whether it's gonna happen you know you're just putting a pressure in here the challenge is you the challenge is you it will naturally happen you don't you don't you don't need to control you need don't need to you don't need to stress yourself out because it's just going to produce you an anxiety. It makes you weak. It makes you sick. It makes you not able to concentrate at work. Because I'm seeing in here, the challenge is you. The thing, the person, the, the, the thing, the person, the situation that you're waiting or you think it's a challenge, it's actually going to work things out. Look at that. So Scorpio, stay cool, calm and collected because... That thing, that situation, um, it will have its moment. It will happen organically. It's for you. You don't need to stress yourself out because you're just going to attach um, a low vibe energy. And it, it, it just wouldn't result to... It's not healthy. Mentally, it's not healthy. So breathe and manifest. What will you do when it happens? You know, I want you to visualize and manifest that what will you do with this person or this situation or this good news? How will you embrace it? Let's counter your overthinking. How will you embrace this beautiful good news? All right. So this is me, Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here. I'll see you soon again with the full month love breathing and a weekend catch up. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.